the Minecraft April Fool snapshot has added a lot of weird and wacky things to the game, like the potato dimension that I'm in right now. But obviously, being a redstoner, there's one block that stood out to me the most, and that is the flotator block. And the way it works, well, it's easier to just show you. Yeah, um, that cloud is moving, and I can stand on it too, and I move with it. This feels a lot like modern Minecraft. It moves pretty slowly, but very smoothly. It's not like a piston where it keeps starting and stopping, and when it reaches the end, it just stops there, because it can't push anymore. But wait, how many blocks was it pushing there? That was one, two, three, four, five, six, 37, 38, 39. That was pushing 39 blocks. Well, actually 40 blocks, including this redstone block. Hang on, that's way more than pistons. Pistons can only push 12 blocks. Any more than that, and it just doesn't push. But this thing seems to be able to do 40 blocks. Okay, this is 40 blocks right there, and... Oh, that's the wrong way. Hold on a second. So if I do this again... Uh, okay, that doesn't push, but if I do this, then maybe it will? No. That's weird, it just pushed 40 blocks before. Maybe it has to be a specific shape or something, I don't know. This is my first time playing around with it. So since we can push structures of blocks around, that makes me think we can make an elevator with this thing. So I've got a 3x3 platform here, and if I power that, it moves up and stops at the obsidian block. Okay, so then if I want to have a whole elevator cabin, then I can probably do something like this. And then I could have the walls here, like this. And now if I move it down... Oh, there we go. So now I just need to add some walls that it won't stick to, and a button with a redstone line. And there we should have a working elevator. Wait, what? The whole thing is moving up. How is it moving terracotta? And it's... What? It's moving obsidian. How is it doing that? Obsidian's supposed to be immovable. And it's moving redstone wires as well. What? How does this work? Okay, hold on a second. I need to put some obsidian in the way so it doesn't just run away. Okay, there we go. It should stop now. Uh... What? Okay, it just stole the obsidian and ran away. So something's going very wrong there. I don't know how to stop it. Maybe it will stop once it reaches the height limit. Oh, no. Yeah, now it's just deleting itself. Okay, now it's finally stopped. I don't know about you, but I think this might... Might... Be a little glitched. And you know what else I think? I think you should subscribe. But anyway, I'm not sure if we can do a piston elevator right now. There doesn't seem to be a way to make it only move the blocks that you want. Okay, and now it's just literally moving air. Like, there is nothing between here. What happens if I move this further up? It just does that and then it stops. Okay, this block is confusing me. I have no idea how it works. And since this thing seems to have the supernatural ability to move immovable blocks, another thing I thought of is a flying machine bomber with dispensers. It just destroyed that dispenser. How? I don't think it's ready for release. Good thing it's an April Fool's snapshot. It's not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, so it breaks the dispenser, but it doesn't break obsidian. I guess this block just has a grudge against dispensers then. But here's the real question. Can it move bedrock? Yes. Yes, it can. So that should mean I can go down to bedrock level in the overworld and then make a hole in the floor. So if I do this and then... Okay, that doesn't do anything, but what if I do this, and then... Okay, I can't move that for some reason. Oh, I guess it's because it's stuck to the rest of the world, so I can't move it like that. Maybe this won't work. If I can find a piece of bedrock that's not attached to any other bedrock, then that might work. Well, I found one, so in theory, I should be able to push this up. There we go. So in some situations, I can push naturally generating bedrock with this thing. And if I want to get it out of here, then I just have to make a hole around it. Okay, I've made a hole up to the surface. So in theory, I should be able to do this. There we go. So I can now bring the bedrock up to the surface on my bedrock elevator. <laughs> 
Yeah, I never figured this would be how I get out of a cave, but it looks so cool. It's so smooth. I wish we had something like this in the actual game and that it wasn't just an April Fool's joke. Also, you can't break it while it's moving because the block isn't actually there. You can still walk on it. It's just that punching doesn't do anything to it. So since we can't move dispensers with this thing because it just destroys them, I wonder if we can do anything with TNT with it. Maybe there might be some buggy behavior if I ignite the TNT and and power the flotator at the same time. So like this. Okay, that was a bit weird. It looked a bit glitchy moving sideways, but no, it didn't really do anything special. But there's another thing I haven't tried yet, and that is a piston door. Because you could make a very simple sliding piston door with this thing. So since a piston door is a lot smaller than an elevator, it should be pretty easy to stop it sticking to the things we don't want it to. When the door is open, I can just push these pistons out so that the corridor looks normal, and then we can close the door. Although, I'm not sure why it's dragging that obsidian with it. I can fix that later. And then when I want to open the door, I just pull these back and then power this flotator here. And the door slides open. So I think I can replace this obsidian with a piston and then just extend it when I want to stop the blocks and then retract it when I don't want it to stick. And that should work. So... That will close it, and then I retract these pistons, and then if I want to open it, I just do that and extend this piston. Okay, yeah, that works. So I think I'm ready to build this now. A few moments later. Uh, what did I just witness? It just decapitated a piston. Hello, piston? Are you okay? Uh, the piston's dead. Okay, I think this is going to work. So if I just flip the lever... <gasps> it opened! It actually worked! I thought I might have missed something and then it would have stuck to it and then imploded itself. So hopefully it closes as well. Oh! It actually worked! And to celebrate, the game has spawned a wandering trader next to me in the ocean. How lovely. Mog Swamp, if you're watching this, I'm not sorry. I really want to see what this looks like when there's a border around the door so we can't see any redstone. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what's wrong. I completely forgot that I need to have some of these pistons for these blocks as well. Otherwise, it's just going to move the entire floor and wall with it. So uh, bear with me one second while I redesign this. Two hours later. Uh, what? Okay, I guess I've just made a flying piston door. Okay, all jokes aside, I think I know how to fix it. I think I just need to delay these pistons and then it should work. But that's still a big question mark. No, we still get the flying door. I really don't know what it's sticking to. Well, I guess the flying piston door is good enough. This block is really cool, but it's way too glitchy to be used in any kind of creative way right now. And I kind of wish that it wasn't just an April Fool's joke. I really wish we could have this block in the actual game because it has a lot of potential. If they changed it up a bit so it doesn't stick to absolutely everything, but obviously they didn't spend that much time debugging it because it is just a silly April Fool's snapshot. So I'm just going to leave this door like that as well. 